appears to be the end of an era for one Cleveland bridge. We're talking about the Eagle Avenue Bridge. It's located right across from Progressive Field downtown over the Cuyahoga River. Records show the city is looking to demolish the aging structure, saying it's in pretty bad shape. Our Mike Holden is tracking the impact. And Mike, despite a pretty clear decision on this, the city now wants to hear from the public. Dania, Mike, good morning to you in spot on. First and foremost, the Eagle Avenue Bridge, which is just past this point where we're live this morning in the flats. This thing hasn't been in use for almost 20 years now, and officials are saying it's dangerous and structurally deficient. However, they're still asking for public input, and that's because there's a clear historic aspect to it. You've likely spotted the Eagle Avenue Bridge when leaving a Guardians game or strolled right past it on the towpath in the flats. It has been a long-standing centerpiece of downtown Cleveland for decades, in use or not, but the structure could soon be going away altogether. It seems inevitable, and there's a couple other bridges that are the same way. The city of Cleveland and ODOT are now considering what should happen next with the deteriorating bridge, which has been retired in the up position since 2005. The landmark is part of Cleveland native Jim Warren's morning run route multiple times a week. And while he says it's visually stimulating, he's worried for boaters and everyone in the area. How long are they going to stay up there before they land on someone? Or, you know, someone can get hurt going over them as well. Our camera captured rust coating virtually every part of the bridge. Top to bottom, vines are growing across it. The city is now considering the following options. Demolition, which is the cheapest at $3.1 million. Stabilizing the existing structure, but not using it. Removing and relocating it for $29 million. Or replacing it for almost $59 million. In an online survey, the city says demolition is the safest and most cost effective. The bridge has lost its purpose as a bridge. It's hard to figure out um, a new purpose for it. Dr. Stephanie Ryberg Webster, professor at Cleveland State University, says it is a complex issue, especially since the bridge is eligible for the National Register of Historic Places. The Eagle Avenue Bridge is actually the first vertical lift bridge in Cleveland. And while city leaders say it is an extremely tough decision they have to make, something has to be done due to overall safety concerns. One, you have graffiti and vandalism, and two, we even spotted some trespassing issues with a hole cut in the fence over here. Warren says it's apparent as there is new visible spray paint and damage found regularly. He's hopeful the city makes a solid decision that will benefit everyone. I guess destroy this one because it's not uh, really close to being able to do anything like that. And then if you put in a, some type of pedestrian bridge, kind of like what they've done down at Voinovich Park. I mean, realistically, I would tell you that I foresee it being dismantled. I foresee probably really good intentions of saving pieces of it or thinking through how to repurpose pieces of it. All right, here's another live look at that Eagle Avenue bridge, the silhouette of it across from Progressive Field. And yes, although it has not been used in 20 years, there is still big conversation and big debate over what should happen with it next. So what does this actually mean to you at home? Well, city leaders want you to weigh in. There is a survey where you can put all your input in there. They want to hear directly from you. Click right now, this story, news5cleveland.com, News 5 Cleveland app. Give all your thoughts. Mike Danita, they say it is so important because they really have to consider every option. And Mike, with the timeline, when could we start to see something happening with the dismantling of the bridge? And that's the thing, too, that makes this so complicated, and that's why there's confusion. So they say the plan of action is actually to get rid of this next summer. However, because of the historic aspect, they want to consider each and every aspect to this. We're going to stay on top of it again. It's kind of TBD. But, of course, if something changes, we'll bring it to you.